Hey guys, I'm back. I'm inside. Unfortunately, it is a nasty, gross, disgusting day here. I was hoping that the rain would clear out. I've actually, I put this unboxing off for a few hours. Just hoping that the weather would improve, but it hasn't. So to start off with, we've got, uh, oh god, we have so many names on our shout-out list. Um, number one, Piggy Rick. Piggy Rick has already gotten a shout-out, but Piggy Rick had a special request for a shout-out for his birthday. And there are still two days to go. They ask for it, you know, in a certain time frame. And I'm working on my time management skills and my memory skills. So, listen, you're getting it today, uh, Piggy Rick, because I can't guarantee that I'll have a video in another two days when you specifically ask for it. Uh, Southern Sun, Vault Gaming, Joshua Harrison, Power Wolf Gamer, Daniel Lawani, and Arc1184 giving shout outs to you guys today thanks for supporting the channel and watching videos and everything arc 1184 reminds me of a cross between indiana jones and one of george lucas's uh, first movies thx 1138 um cool name cool name and like i've said before if, if you're expecting a shout out and you haven't heard your name you're on the list i can only do so many per video though otherwise the whole video would be shout outs but um Lots of videos in the works, so you guys will get your shoutouts. Anyway, Battle Box Day. So I'm pretty excited to see if they have kind of made up for some of the disappointment of the last box that a lot of you guys felt. The uh, operator-owned sort of kind of not a tactical box last month for July. Uh, pros and cons, you know, to what came in that box. Some people happy, some not. Let's see what we've got. And I've had uh, more than one person ask, would I would I tell you what knife it is that I'm opening boxes with when I do it? So, cool, valid point. Today, I'm carrying my Chris Reeves Sabenza 25. Uh, if you kind of checked out the video I have about how to um, heat oxidize, because I don't want to call it anodizing, because I get yelled at for that by, by some of the more scientific people, but I say anodizing because everybody knows what anodizing is, and not everybody knows what heat oxidizing is. But I uh, did the blowtorch anodizing on this to turn it blue. But uh, I don't talk about Chris Reeves knives very much on the channel, and I should because they are awesome, super lightweight, great dependable knives. A bit on the high end in terms of price and everything, but very dependable and great customer service um, from the company. This one is a very much a user, um, and it has been beaten up quite a bit. But love this knife. Just don't carry it very often. Uh, for some reason. So, let's see what we've got in August's box. Do, do, do. Oh, I've got, see a, see a nuclear sign here. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I hope this isn't zombies. But, let's see, building an NBC bag. NBC, very common acronym in the military for nuclear biological chemical warfare. Mission 30, the nuclear biological chemical box. Not sure what to grab first. This looks like a protective mask filter. So I'm wondering if we've got a protective mask in this box. Notice I'm saying protective mask, not gas mask. That's something in the military that'll get you yelled at. Um, well, I'm going through the box a little bit because I want to go in order of the card. So I've got to find the items as they go. So first, uh, Iosat potassium iodine tablets. Uh, things that you would take uh, upon exposure to radiation to protect your thyroid. So uh, listed for $7. So here they are. There's not much that we can do to test these out or even look at them right now. Well, there they are. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you got 14 of them. So that's enough for two weeks. Uh, to protect you from how much radiation, I don't really know, because it doesn't actually say. This helps prevent radioactive iodine from getting into the thyroid gland. Um, okay. Interesting. You know, I guess with all the stuff that's going on in the world today, uh, with Russia and China, the potential for, you know, nuclear showdown is there. Uh, so I'm going to go on the record right now and, and piss off everybody on the battle box forum and say, eh, I'm not thrilled with the theme here. This is a very, very specific theme that doesn't have a lot of wide ranging usage. 
Radiac Wash Towelettes times three. Wipe away radioactive contamination. So they say that these are worth two dollars and eighty-five cents. Honestly, uh, what makes these any different than you know moist towelettes? I'd have to look it up. I don't know. I'm really not sure. Um, in a standard, you know, U.S. military NBC situation, when we set up a decontamination station, we have a, a simple bleach water solution um, that we hose down everything with and wipe down stuff. And, you know, the, the percentage of, you know, chlorine bleach to water, it just depends on are we wiping down skin to, or are we wiping down equipment for how much we use. So next up, we've got a very large book, Nuclear War Survival Skills. All right, so at least this is not a simple little field manual. This is a very large book. I'm sure a lot of it comes out of military field manuals. Some of it looks like straight up nuclear survival. A lot of it looks like some some actual like survival type skills too. A mix between both, which is kind of cool. So this book has some some non nuclear value to it, which is nice. Looks like uh, for a lot of it, what they did was take one of those small military you know cargo pocket books and print it in full eight and a half by eleven size. So they say the value of that book is going to be fourteen twenty-five. If you're following along on the card, we're still in the basic box, by the way. And next up is the Rad Triage and Emergency Dosimeter. Um, now you know this is sealed up, and originally I thought I'm not going to open it because I want to keep it in case, but I have no illusions over dirty bomb straight up thermonuclear weapon it's a horror show either way so just basically <clears throat> it's similar to something that the military has uh, the military's is a bit different but this changes color with exposure to radiation and then you measure it against the reference blocks here to figure out. So this doesn't tell you like right now, like it doesn't click, it doesn't give you any sort of, hey, there's radiation in the air warning. It lets you kind of evaluate over time how much exposure you've had. So this is not an emergency get you out of the situation. This is to let you know how much you've had. Kind of thing that we would have if we were working in the aftermath of a nuclear event. Uh, or even in like a lab, this would be used to tell if there's like a leak or something like that, just to judge overall exposure. Uh, I thought that this might ruin it by opening the envelope, but it doesn't look like it has. To wear like, you know, after some big event to kind of judge your exposure. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you anything like one area is more contaminated than another. It's basically a measure of your personal exposure comes out to $19.99 on the card. And then two free radioactive waste bags. I wonder what makes them radioactive waste bags besides the fact that it just says radioactive materials. Here's something to remember about these radioactive waste bags. They are just big yellow bags that say radioactive waste. They are so thin you can see through them. So when I see radioactive waste bags on the list, I'm thinking of something like, oh good, little lead line bags that I can put radioactive stuff in you know, so it doesn't contaminate anything else. Nope. Uh, this is just basically a warning to others that what's in the bag is radioactive. This might as well be a garbage bag that is printed on, um, which is probably why they're free. But, I mean, you could just write on a plastic bag from a store, hey, radioactive waste, stay away from it. I understand, so I'm gonna, you know, my criticism, I'm gonna throw in there that, yeah, the military, has lots of funding and lots of different purpose-made products. So, of course, it would be a little bit different. This is for civilian folks that don't have access to all that stuff. So that's in the basic box, uh, paying $24.99 with a $44.09 value. Let's see what's now in the advanced box, because remember, we're unboxing the Pro Plus. So the advanced box, we're jumping up to a $49.99 cost with a $93.99 value, and it includes the... Polish MC1 gas mask at $14.95. $14.95 is not a lot for a protective mask. I'm just saying. I don't if know. 
if the price correlates directly to quality. But I have seen these Polish gas masks in a lot of these sort of disaster boxes and stuff. Um, I also want to say right now, this gas mask, no gas mask, no chemical protective mask is going to protect you from radiation. It's not what it does. It's going to protect you from contaminants in the air. So this being in a NBC box, we got to remember that this is not just radiation. And so far, a lot of this stuff has been focused towards radiation. It's nuclear, biological, and chemical. So now we're moving into the, the biological and chemical. Most protective masks are not designed to filter out chem um, biological agents either. It's chemical agents. And I think that's where this kind of goes. Now, I can't speak with real good authority on what this particular mask filters out. This right here is an Air Force issued Mickey 2, which uh, it doesn't have the whole over hood and everything else. This is the, the basic because, you know, when I'm running around in an exercise and I know it's just an exercise, I want the freedom of not having that whole ridiculous hood. So it doesn't look very different on the outside, but this is a much more technologically advanced mask than the Polish mask. This is in the area of hundreds to thousands if you're going to buy it on the aftermarket. Uh, the Air Force, of course, gets a, a much better deal on these things. Um, but if you just look at a lot of the features there, you can tell it's it's a lot more advanced than the Polish mask. The Army currently, I think they still wear the M40 or the M41 mask, which looks similar to this. Now, I'm not trying to, to shit talk what comes in the box. I'm not. I'm just saying, like, this is all probably surplus and there's there's some corrosion on there and everything. So if this is better than nothing, it's better than nothing. I don't know how effective these old Polish masks are, and I don't know what they specifically protect against, so you'd want to do some research. Here's the filter that goes with it. I don't know what all the old Polish markings are, but these things have a shelf life, and I don't know if this is past shelf life. I don't know what it's designed to filter against. I don't know if it, there's specific contaminants it works for. So I guess what I'm saying is, is if you're going to put this in your specific bug out bag and you're going to rely on this little bad boy, please take the time to do some research and be familiar with it so that if you're relying on it to protect you against something specific, you know that this is actually rated for that. Uh, even the instructions here inside the carrier, they're all in Polish. So I don't speak Polish, I don't read Polish, I don't know specifically what this all is about. And by the way, the filters also have an operational life, so it's something you might want to consider also, if this is something that you're going to be counting on, find yourself some extra filters as well. Because uh, one filter is usually not very long. Uh, for example, with the Mickey 2 here, one filter is giving you, they say 24 hours, but that's 24 hours of just normal, average, you know, use and breathing. So I'm going to submit this to you guys. You're in a nuclear attack or you're in a biological warfare, chemical warfare attack. How nice and calm and average is your breathing throughout that attack? And how average and calm is your activity? You know what I mean? So things to consider. The other item in the advanced box is the Seychelles radiological water filter straw, which I saw initially. And that looked pretty interesting. take a look at what comes in this radiological water filter straw. Now just on the initial look, you can see that there's some filtering material. So we've got a big red warning. Always jump out at the big red warnings. Don't use with salt water, okay? Uh, it looks pretty simple. Remove cap over mouthpiece, twist opposite end of straw and insert in water, place mouth on mouthpiece and draw water into mouth. So it doesn't just work for radiological stuff. It's basically a regular water filter, but it also takes out radiological contaminants, which is cool. So this is something that kind of goes exactly the opposite of what I was talking about, where this is not one specific use. This is kind of, this is a good multi-purpose put in your bag and it covers lots and lots of bases, right? Can't remember if I said the uh, the cost of it at all, but there you go, $34.95 MSRP for the straw. So now let's move from the advanced into the pro box. $99.99 cost with a $153.94 value. We are looking for the FT Lab Smart Geiger Radiation Detector with keychain, and I already had that in my hand somewhere. Here it is. 
this is interesting to me. I'm not sure how does this work. This looks very similar to the M93 Radiac detector. All right, so this is very small, very light, weighs nothing. It says right there that you connect Smart Geiger to your smartphone using plug for measurement of radiation. Compatible with iPhone and Android. Um, you got to download an app, of course, for it. Oh, yeah, so I think the camera is messing it up because, you know, that makes a little bit of electromagnetic radiation and everything. It says that to calibrate, you should point it towards a known, like, non-radioactive source, like outside a window or something like that. So whatever. But the point is, is how it works. That's all. So, there. Interesting, fun things to play with, right? Um, let's look for the NanoHax Colloidal Silver, 12 ounces, $25. I think that's this. I don't know what this is. NanoHax Extreme. It's extreme. Colloidal Silver. Is this... This is support for your immune system, huh? So adults take one to three teaspoons per day and children take one half teaspoon per day. Swish contents in mouth for 30 seconds before swallowing. This is something I've, I've got to do research on. Honestly, I don't know what this does for your immune system or how it protects you. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at it right now. Um, but here's your extreme colloidal silver. And it costs $25. Okay. So we've gone through the basic, the advanced, the pro, my favorite part, your favorite part, almost everybody's favorite part. Let's take a look at the knife of the month in the pro plus. And that's what separates the pro. And that's what separates the pro plus from everything else is the knife of the month. $149.99 cost with a $303.94 value. The Nuke folding knife designed by Leong Ma. Ma's a great designer. I uh, have, don't anything, don't have anything specifically by Ma like alone, but I have a lot of uh, Ma's CRKT collaborations. So they say this is a $150 knife. And here is the Nuke in a nice box. Let's see what we've got. I'm liking it already, just looking at it. It comes with a little photon type light. Reminds me a lot of the Brazo. I'm hoping that this stuff glows in the dark. Maybe that's why they give you a light for it. Now, of course, you know, I'll do measurements and I will put all of the, the relative data in here in text. I got to I got to do this. I got to get that light out. Oh, it does glow in the dark. It does. Take a look at that. That's pretty nice. So it's daylight. I haven't even opened the knife yet, by the way. Just playing with the glow in the dark. But backspacer and inside the liners and everything, they all glow, which is pretty cool. Area around the pivot glows. Before we open it, so you've got your frame lock design. The clip can be swapped for left and right side. The pivot has a really cool look to it. It's a very unique pivot design. I really like the internal glowing liners there. Pretty excited to just open this thing up. Very interesting blade shape. says here we've got a D2 blade. Ergonomically, feels nice. I basically judge all knife of the month uh, off of the, the Brazo, which is my absolute favorite. Um, sticky lock, really? That's disappointing. Yeah. Very sticky lock. Did you hear that? Let's. There we go. I guess it just needed to loosen up a little bit. You can see nice early lock up. Those liners are still glowing a little bit, which is pretty cool. Well, this one needs a little bit of, of love and adjusting, I think, because it's not as smooth as I think it could be, but perfect centering right out of the package. I really like the blade shape. I'm not sure what kind of coating it is, but again, we'll have seen that already. Hair's just starting to grow back on my arm. Uh, 
it shaves. It's not perfectly smooth and easy as I would like, but it shaves. A little bit uncomfortable. Very nice though. This is something I would I would walk around with. I would definitely try. Give it a shot, break it in a little bit. I like it a lot. Yeah, so once again, knife of the month never really disappoints to me anyway. Last few items in the box. You guys always want to see what kind of cards and stuff comes in. So here's something about the Silver Nature's Healer. I'm not going to read all this stuff now, but so apparently silver is uh, kills bacteria, kills yeast, fungus, and viruses, and stuff like that. So there you go. There's a sticker. Here's uh, information about the Iosat, the thyroid pills. Seychelle, a little 15% off. Some of their other filtering products. And then some more um, stuff about NanoHacks. And it says, don't take this product until you've heard an important message about NanoHack Silver. Text the word Battle Box to the number below now. So, got that. And then this stuff that's so much fun to set on fire. Well, that's it. There is August 2017, the NBC box. So I'm uh, I'm not thrilled with this box. I feel like this is a very specialized box and not everything in it has a lot of wide ranging uses. Awesome knife of the month, so I'm really happy with that. And I mean, technically, if the knife of the month is worth $150, that's the price of the box. So that's good. You know, but ugh, I don't know. I just, I personally would have liked them to have kind of recovered from the non-tactical, non-kind of field usage operator own box with a box that is really awesome for kind of like survival, camping, field, lots of useful tools and stuff. This is a very, very specialized, very, you know, applies to one situation and one situation only kind of box. Now, I'm not saying it's not useful and I'm not saying it's not good stuff to have. But I'm saying it's it's useful and it's good stuff to have if and only if that one situation presents itself. Now, my motto that I've said more than once uh, on this channel is it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So true. You know, it just would have been nice to have some some cool new stuff to play with, you know, and, and stuff that I really could have taken in the backyard or taken camping or taken on, you know, a field exercise or, or something and really put to fun use is what I'm saying. But I don't think any of this is junk. I don't think it's crap. I just don't think it's very highly useful in, in terms of I can just apply it to a lot of different situations is all. So you guys can hit me in the comments and tell me what you think, you know, of all this. Is it a good recovery from the last box that disappointed so many people or not? I don't know, but it is an awesome knife and it glows in the dark. Extra points for glowing in the dark. Next video up, I'm gonna have a review of some knives sent in by another viewer who wanted to get my take on those, uh, similar to the first aid kit that was sent in. Also got some new stuff on the way from Amazon to show you guys that I think we'll, we'll all enjoy. Uh, somebody had asked me to do a video on how I, I kind of got into knife collecting and, and how I ended up making a channel out of that. So I'm going to do that one. Got a haircut just for you guys today. Yeah, so I look professional doing that. And uh, rolling right through that big long spreadsheet of all the different video ideas that you guys wanted to see. As always, thanks guys for watching. Thanks for giving me your ideas and your input in the comments. Thanks for letting me know what you like and what you don't like because I really do take it all to heart. This channel would not be a channel without you. Appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, I'll be back again real soon.